So uh, we planted uh, Darabin Presbyterian Church, my wife Gabby and I, uh, just about five and a half years ago. Uh, it's in the inner northern suburbs of Melbourne. Uh, so, yep, that's, that's where we're at. Uh, so five and a half years into our church plant. Yeah, uh, lots of things I was thinking about, but I guess the last six to nine months have probably been the hardest six to nine months uh, pastorally. Uh, and the big, we had some uh, relatively big conflicts and different things going on in our church. And, um, and the, one of the biggest things that came out of that is, uh, I think sometimes as a, as a maybe perhaps as a man, maybe in particular as a church planner, I, I had this illusion that uh, somehow if I could just find the right words or the right tip or the silver bullet, that I'd just be able to fix everything or fix this person or fix this situation. Uh, and sometimes, it, uh, no matter what you try or what words you say, things just end up blowing up in your face. And, uh, and it was actually a good realisation to realise that actually I just can't fix every person, every situation. Uh, there's lots of things we can do. And so that's been quite a humbling thing and a, and a painful lesson to learn. Uh, but, but also really important in terms of uh, humbling myself under God's sovereignty and trusting in Him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I guess uh, I was, uh, yeah, so I'm really convicted about the importance of the, the lead church planter. Uh, and it's important to get that person right. And the assessment process is critical. Uh, but I was pretty persuaded up front of the importance of, of having a team around me. And, um, but I guess experiences like the last six to nine months and, and other things just keep drumming into you the, the importance of uh, being humble and, and having a kind of interdependent body of Christ and, and a team to work alongside. Uh, and so, um, yeah, that's really precious in the midst of those hard times and humbling times. So uh, two things that I've really loved about the Geneva Network. Uh, um, the first is uh, just the uh, kind of a commitment to providing really great quality coaching. And so I've really benefited from uh, coaching uh, over the years uh, in, in thinking through different stages of the church plant uh, and that's just been exceptionally valuable for me. Uh, and the other is a, a network of peers and so uh, probably uh, for me, I, I haven't connect, I mean, I'm in, over time connected to some extent nationally, but there's a network of Geneva planters in Melbourne. We meet together uh, quite regularly and even in the midst of the, the hard pastoral situations in the last six to nine months, uh, those guys were really valuable to journey with and to pray with and to talk through and get their wisdom in, in the, dealing with the situation. And so that kind of network of people who are confronting those things uh, in, in their own church plants uh, yeah, is, is really valuable. And Geneva's been incredibly helpful with that. Mm -hmm.